This is how James Bond does it. The sequence in The Spy Who Loved Me shows how he evaded his pursuers just when all hope seemed to be running out. Just a simple matter of wheels becoming fins, and hey presto, the car is now a submarine. Now watch this. The new invention of Swiss designer Frank Reidenecht does exactly that. No, it isn't trick photography. The scuba car really does drive underwater. It's a dream he's harboured ever since seeing his film hero in action. Well, the main inspiration to build the scuba really derived from James Bond's movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Exactly 30 years ago, it was fiction, and we just decided it was about time to put it in reality. It cost three quarters of a million pounds, and it's got all the oxygen you'll need for a short trip underwater. But you won't be seeing it in the car showrooms anytime soon. This is one of those one-off concept cars where inventors try out far-fetched ideas and make them work. And while James Bond can do this, such things are not, of course, on the spec of the scuba, whose purpose is purely recreational. And with that in mind, there is another crucial variation. Spot the difference? Mr. Reindenek's car is not exactly waterproof. In fact, it's open-topped. So, if you harbour hopes of getting a go in a car like this, well, you might as well face up to the fact you're going to get a tad wet.